Hello, this is Mike Lively, and this is PHP Programming Lesson 28. And today we're specifically going to look at Flash Builder and PHP. And I want to tell you, I'm just so excited about this portion of the series. In mind with all these tutorials uh, that we've done so far is the idea that we're going to be moving toward Flash Builder and learning how to build some very dynamic things easily using the combination of Flash Builder and PHP. So now the method in my madness should come out very clearly. The first uh, answer to some of the questions you might have been asking is, why are we working with classes? Isn't PHP just a procedural language? Uh, do we need all this extra framework? And the answer is absolutely yes, because Flask Builder needs a PHP class in order to talk to. Okay. So that's why we're building classes, and in the next lesson, lesson three of this series, you'll be learning a little bit more about classes, but we know enough now to actually harness uh, the power of PHP and Flex. Of course, you know, why would you even want to use PHP and Flash Builder? Can't you just uh, write a lot of the same things we're doing now in action scripting? And the answer is yes. However, there's two reasons, security and database access. What PHP is going to give us is a higher level of security. And the example is, of course, what we're working with right now is a random password generator. Uh, if a hacker can see how you're creating your passwords, that gives him a real leg up on actually hacking your passwords and your systems. But if that is hidden from that hacker, and that's be putting it in a private uh, method in your PHP on your server side, it is hidden from the hacker. He can't see how you're making those passwords, and it you know, requires a little bit more work on his side to... Uh, hack you. Now, why can't I just put it in Flash? Isn't Flash a, uh, a secure format? Absolutely not. Even though you can't open up Flash in a regular HTML viewer, it is an open format. You can look at what's inside it. So just a simple uh, just a simple program like SoThink SW Compiler allows you to open up uh, any Flash file, pull out the resources, look at how it's coded. So putting passwords or how you create passwords or any type of uh, sense of information in an SWF is a big mistake. A few things I want to say about security. We will be having a lesson on security, but as we move on, we need to talk about it more. First of all, obscurity is not security. A lot of people think if they put a password sandwich into a bunch of uh, letters front and back, a uh, hacker won't be able to find it. Don't believe it. Uh, hacking is very much sophisticated now, and there's a lot of programs you can just download and begin hacking away with. It's not very hard anymore. So remember, obscurity is not security. One thing I'm going to be talking about, too, is minimize your surface area. Of course, carefully scope. We've been talking about that as we're moving through this series. But also, don't leave anything on the server that you don't need. And certainly, we wouldn't want our password generator in our SWF. We want that hidden on the server. Uh, and finally, there is no such thing as security. It's just security management. So in a sense, eventually, someone can punch a hole in whatever you're building. But uh, the more carefully you craft it, and watch it and log it, uh, the less vulnerable it is to a security hack. So, And it's really surprising sometimes. Some things that you may not be a security risk turn out to be security risk, and you just find that basically from having it hacked, to be honest with you. But we'll be going through some good tried and true principles of security as we move through this series. So what I want to do now is we're going to open up Flash Builder. We're going to take the class that we created last time. We're going to put it in Flash Builder and actually get that talking to PHP. But first, let's show you how to get PHP working in Flash Builder. Now the first thing I'm going to do, which is different than uh, what you might do in Flash, is actually create a workspace. So I just created a blank folder called PHP Workspace. And I'm going to navigate to that and use that as my workspace. That's where all my development folders are going to go. So just be aware, unlike uh, Flash or any other, other, another application such as Word and PowerPoint, where you might just create a program and you save it somewhere, create an app and you save it somewhere, you must first designate where you're going to save your programs. So we actually have Flash Builder open up right now. So we have Flash Builder opened up right now, and I'm in one workspace. I'm going to switch to another. Just remember, you've been working with PHP Eclipse. Don't be afraid of Flash Builder Eclipse. It's almost the same. There's a few differences, and we'll be covering those differences today. So I'm going to click on File and go to Switch Workspace. Now you have the option to determine what workspace you're going to go to when you open up Flash initially, but I already had Flash Builder open. So now let me navigate to a new workspace. So I'll hit my Browse here, and I'm going to browse to a new workspace, which I put in uh, Documents. And I called it PHP Workspace. That's a pretty easy name to remember. And let me go ahead and hit OK. And that's now my new workspace. Uh, Flash will close and open again in that new workspace. I'd modified something. Let's go ahead and keep that. 
So now Flash Builder is opened up, and here's my beautiful blank workspace. Nothing in there yet. Uh, so nice to write on a blank slate. And we're just going to right-click and create a project. So we're going to go New. Just like you would in PHP, go Flex Project. And we're just going to give it a name. And we'll call it um, Random Password. And I like to start my classes with a uh, capital letter. Now, this is a project, but it also will be turned into a class. So I like to start classes with a capital letter. And let me go ahead and save, hit Next, and go to Finish. And everything's been created. And what Flash Builder right now is doing is creating a ton of code for you. You don't, you don't have to create this anymore. In the old days or in a C++ program or whatever, you have to create all this framework. Flash Builder does it all for you automatically. Isn't that fantastic? And so here's my framework right here. And now there are a few differences. It turns out that in this default folder, that that uh, file that I need actually to work with, my actually my application file, has been already created for me automatically. I don't have to create that like I do in PHP. The project has been created by hitting the new button, just like uh, in PHP. But that file that I'll be working with, that application file, has been created for me automatically as well. And a ton of other code as well. We're going to be interested in this debug folder right here. Now, that's a regular project that is not going to talk to PHP because I didn't hit the PHP option. So let's create another file that will talk to PHP. So I'll right-click, i hit New, Flex Project. And what I'm going to call this project is Random Password PHP. So you know it's working with PHP. And there's an option down here, and it's Application Server Type. And I want to click on PHP. You're going to want to watch carefully what I'm doing here because you're going to need to follow these steps, and there's some important things to capture. So I click on PHP, and now it's going to have the ability to actually talk to PHP. But I have a problem. And my let me squeeze this a little bit so you can actually see all this. And what my problem is, is that you remember I put my workspace on my Documents folder. It's not in my... Uh, MAMP or WAMP folder. So I, I need to have something on my WAMP folder so it actually the PHP can run. And that's actually what PHP is going to do right now. So once, so once I've chosen use that PHP option, that application server, then Flash Builder knows, hey, give me the next screen. And the next screen wants, hey, where's my root server and where's my URL? And so it's very important that you keep track of what I'm about to do. You can browse to your root server. So let's go ahead and browse to uh, our WAMP server. That's on the C drive, and it's WAMP, and it's www. Hit OK. So that's the first thing. That's done. But the next thing is localhost, because I'm running with localhost, and it actually gives me a little hint right here. So just retype that right into the little bar here, HTTP forward slash localhost. Great. Now one more thing. When I created my random password PHP um, class, what it's done is actually uh, created a debug folder. That debug folder is actually going to live on my WAMP server, and I'm actually going to put files into that debug folder and run them from my WAMP folder. So now Flex knows to go and grab that file from the WAMP server and run it. So that's just about, we're almost done here. We're going to hit Validate Configuration. Hey, it's done. It says, hey, that configuration is good. So you, you, it'll tell you if it's talking to the WAMP server or not. And hit Next. And I believe that's all you need to do. We're going to hit Finish here real quick. And you're now all set up to talk to PHP. And what you're going to see here is a little arrow right here. And what that arrow means is that it's pulling resources from your WAMP server. Let's go ahead and take a look at the folder on the WAMP ser server so you can see it. So on my C server, go to WAMP. And in WAMP, let's go to www. And you should have a folder here called random password PHP. Let's take a see if it's there. And there's my debug folder, random password PHP debug. And what I'm going to want to do at this point is I'm going to want to put all my PHP files in that so I can actually run them. Now, right now, there's a, a bunch of uh, Flash stuff in there, the framework which has been built. You didn't have to write any of this code. It's been done for you automatically, which is going to allow your PHP to work and talk to Flex. And so we're ready to move on with the next video. We're actually going to take the class that we created, put it into uh, this particular folder, and actually get it talking to the Flash Builder program. Hey, so let's quickly review what we did. We right-clicked on our file space, and we created a new project. We checked the PHP option to make sure that we were running the PHP project. And we hit Next, and we validated our server. And once our server was validated, it actually created a project folder where we'll put our PHP class. And that's where we'll pick up next time. Hey, thanks for listening. This is Mike Lively. Hey, this is getting very exciting. You're going to be amazed at how easy it is to build really advanced applications using Flash Builder and PHP.